Good afternoon, everyone. This is Athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz coming to you on Friday, May 29th, 2020. And I'm coming to you with a very specific purpose today. We've all had a couple of challenging months. I think we know that. Um, but amidst the global challenge, we, we have an added layer this week. Um, given the sadness and anger that, that I feel and that I know so many feel with the murder this week in Minneapolis of George Floyd. And I know this falls particularly hard on black Americans and Georgians and Athenians and coming so soon after the murder in Brunswick of Ahmaud Arbery. Um, Minneapolis is a special place to me. Uh, my parents were born there and much of my family is still there and I've spent a lot of time there. And my impression of Minneapolis has always been, much like Athens, of a place that's highly welcoming, of a place where there are very good-hearted people. Um, I think about when I was working there in the summer and fall of 1994, living with my grandmother, and I uh, worked at the Dayton's on the corner of 7th and Nicolette, loading boxes uh, out of trucks uh, up to the sales floor of the department store there. And uh, my supervisor, Mike, was a guy who came from Chicago, and he talked a lot about how great Minneapolis had been to him as a black man. Um, you know, I, I think a lot about music I love from there, uh, one of my favorite Prince songs, uh, Uptown, where, where he sings black, white, Puerto Rican, everybody just a freaking, as if Minneapolis is this great place where People from all walks of life, from all races, would gather together uh, in concert. Um, I, I look now as a policymaker at Minneapolis, having made great strides with a high minimum wage and with great housing policy over the last couple of years. But, but despite all of those great things that, that I can point to about Minneapolis, about its pluralism, uh, being welcoming to refugees from Africa, uh, being a place with a great Muslim community. The, the reality is that despite all of that, you know, Minneapolis, like Athens, like so many American places, still suffers from these vast gulfs. And that gulf presented itself in such ugly, dramatic fashion this week. And for me, what this has led to is local reflection. You know, how do the stains that we see in Minneapolis come to roost here in Athens? You know, and what I want to assure all of you, and I think I can speak for the entire county commission on this, is that we have a commitment to justice here that will not end. Um, j just as I know the last couple of mayors of Athens uh, have had a commitment to justice, just like the last couple of mayors of Minneapolis have had a commitment to justice. And we need to continue to work to make that ever more real every day in our work here as local policymakers. What I'm going to do is in a couple of weeks uh, have Chief Cleveland Spruill uh, join us on Community Conversations because many of you have written to me and called me and asked, you know, what are we doing in Athens to ensure that community engagement continues to be strong, to ensure that we continue to have the kind of implicit bias training that we've introduced in the last couple of years and go even deeper to make sure that our police force reflects the community and the community is understanding of the police force because we are one. Um, as always, if you have questions uh, for this program that'll be on June 10th at 6 p.m., uh, we won't have community conversation next week because we continue our budget meetings. Um, please submit those questions at accgov.com slash mayor. And I look forward to the conversation with the chief and the questions from you. And I just want to leave you um, with my great hope that we continue to offer each other grace and offer each other understanding because we are all going through trying times and no more so than black Athenians who are seeing these images on television and reflecting on how they um, have shadowed their own lives. And uh, I look forward to talking to you next week. Um, be well.